April 24, 2018. I'm Cody Athaway. This is Pulsar. Tonight we are going to go over the Lockheed Martin SR-72 hypersonic aircraft. Um, a few months back there was a uh, Google Map image going around and it was right on Google Maps like it was legit of um, a, some sort of aircraft sitting at a remote undisclosed um, airstrip um, definitely a testing site we'll, we'll see it in a bit it's closer to another military um, small military air airport and um, yeah there's a picture floating around a few months back and um, Google has since updated their satellite imagery but the update um, shows that same aircraft taking off and so um, it's in there's a fortune article that uh, basically confirms its existence as well so we're gonna go into that and, um, yeah so this is where we're at right out of sight right right outside of West Palm Beach um, Jupiter Florida and right here in the JW Corbett Wildlife Management Area let's zoom in we're going to come up on the William P. Gwynn Airport <clears throat> and right up here we have this small little airstrip very small huh right in the middle of the swamps so really by looking at it you're not going to see much but let's zoom in this way go down and here we go <clears throat> right here is the supposed Lockheed Martin SR-72 hypersonic aircraft taking off on a test flight and um, according to the fortune article I'll show you it is um, supposedly unmanned too which makes sense for being hypersonic um, but yeah Actually, um, let's go to the original photo if we can here <clears throat> this right here was it um, sitting in the middle of the the complex area to the right of the airstrip you see it has the typical you know hypersonic design here the way these wings are uh, you see the afterburner nozzle I believe right there um, but yeah I mean it's it looks like a hell of an aircraft for sure uh, let's go to these articles here <clears throat> not articles I have one article and then I want to get something else it's from fortune um I said fortune spend too much on there fortune um, from April 19th 2018 this is only a few days ago, folks. Only a few days ago. <clears throat> and they basically confirm it. They talk about how um, Lockheed is one step closer to building hypersonic missiles. I mean, that's easy for them. They're, right now, they have a hypersonic aircraft they're testing. And missiles will be peanuts to them. So, I hate those. Uh, it's down here. Yeah, right here. Meanwhile, Lockheed is currently developing a hypersonic unmanned plane called the SR-72 or Son of the Blackbird. The SR-72 is designed to fly at speeds up to Mach 6, so 6 times speed sound, and CEO Marilyn Hewson claimed last month that it could forever change our ability to deter and respond to conflict, allowing warfighters to quickly address threats before an adversary may have time to react. And, yeah. And this is basically, I mean, even before the, uh, we'll go to that article here, my claim, <clears throat> CNBC, um, and, but, I mean, this was, what, in March, the, uh, this picture, this first picture, this was out on, um, all last year, well, the, at least, let's say the last quarter of last year, at least. Um, their satellite, that current satellite they had then, and yeah, they talk about 
planes that can travel six times the speed of sound, blah, blah, blah. Hypersonics, they talk about the SR-72. And they've been... They already had it up and running whenever the CEO, Marilyn Houston, made these claims. <clears throat> Let's go here. Go back to Google Maps. So I'm going to show you what's very close by to this airstrip to make it pretty much confirm it's Lockheed to begin with. <laughs> Number one, just this random airstrip in the middle of Swampland, Florida, South Florida here, just right outside of West Palm Beach. And there's the Palm Beach International Raceway right next to it. This airport here, it's a military only. Um, it's Korski. Show that in a second. And right here, oh, by the way, see, before I even go over there, see, you can't even get back to these roads. Google wasn't allowed. Okay. Well, the blue is that's where the Google car went. And let me go down, I'll show you more of that in a second. But, um, yeah, right over here, first Pratt and Whitney, Aerojet Rocket Dime. And Sikorsky FAFO all in this big building here, this giant complex. So let's first show you Sikorsky just quickly. Bang, Lockheed Martin. Now Sikorsky mainly does the helicopters and stuff like that. But I mean it says right here, engineering in the future vertical lift. Maybe the SR-72 has something to do with it. You never know. But yeah, they mainly do helicopters, but you know, Lockheed there, their presence is there. The Pratt and Whitney, United Technologies, another defense contractor, or defense company, should I say. And they do more than defense, they do um, commercial aircraft as well. See the Embraer. Um, but they do F 35s, F 16s, they're heavily involved with Lockheed. No doubt about it. And then finally, Aerojet Rocket Dime. They're into space and things like that. And propulsion. Um, they make rockets, as you see in this future video here. The limits we have. Optimism. And yeah, I grow up. Well, brother, I love you. Thank you. The earth, the solar system, the universe. You've looked in the You're a part. Sounds like magic. Bring all of that together. ...that the government or Lockheed themselves um, would maybe not build it, but definitely test it out here. But I'm going to show you here just of how secure this location is. It's where the Google car had to turn around. Right here. You know, have a straight view. I'll take a second here. Stop. Can't go any farther. See other entrances that are closed off. There's one down north here. Yeah. Can't get back here. And then there are access roads that come off of the D-Line Highway here, but I don't think you're going to get to those anytime soon. Yeah, right here. Like you could drive right down in there. Well, let's go straight view. So let me, yeah, there we go. As you see here, another gated entrance. So they definitely didn't want anybody going back there getting a peek. That's really it, folks. Um, yeah, so I mean, don't let anybody say that China or Russia is ahead of us in hypersonics. We are in the game, and we're more than likely leading it.
I got money on the SR72. It's going to be 10 times better than its older brother, the SR71 Blackbird. Beyond man, but hey, to be honest, we think that's all we need when it comes to a hypersonic aircraft. Be better, safer, more efficient, probably. But yeah, and that's all we got. Um, just remember, keep asking questions, keep researching, keep digging farther. Because the answers are out there, and truth is stranger than fiction.